Hey, it's your reigning supreme, the doll queen, and welcome back to my channel. Cause I'm the fucking supreme. So today we are doing ba -bam, Rainbow High Series 5. And I um was originally going to do like a multi video or whatever with like all the dolls that I got from Series 5. But then I like went to Target. Um I saw Victoria. Which they had the one where her lips are super pale, except for like the accent points, which looks ugly to me. Um, and she only looks good when she has like the more pink lip versus the nudish lip. But anyway, um, and then I also saw Priscilla and um, Olivia. And um, my two best friends have just gotten into doll collecting and I'm so glad that they finally have because I can finally talk dolls with them. It's just been great. Um, so I want to go doll hunting with um, one of them. And we're going to go to a Target. And we're going to get some Series 5 dolls. But I decided to, like, since I was already there, to treat myself to at least my favorite, which is Olivia Woods. Um, I love... Um, well, actually, green isn't in my top four favorite colors. It's, like, number five. Um, but yeah, I was still excited to finally get a dark green doll. Like, dark green... I love dark green and like we got Jewel and Jewel is gorgeous but she's like a blue tinted green that's super dark. I wanted a yellow tinted green that's super dark like forest. This is like supposed to be olive but there's also hints of like forest green and like um, military green and like other greens like that and it's just so gorgeous. I love all the green dolls that we've gotten. They're all so different and so cool um, so I'm excited to have her. Um, and I did, I saw Priscilla in person. I was originally a hater, but I'm on board with her because I like her. She looks very similar to Cheryl. Cheryl is my number one doll. So I'm very excited about that because like uh, a pink Cheryl, which is what Priscilla is. Great. And I will be buying her so she can talk shit with Cheryl. Um, Because they can be like cousins or whatever. Uh, and then I also want Aiden. I didn't see Aiden there, but I know I want him. And then I know I want Michelle as well. Um, and then Kim, unknown Victoria. I have to find the right one, I think. Um, so yeah, we'll see if I keep all of them because I got I just got rid of three of my um, Series 4 dolls. Whoops. Uh, so we'll see if I keep all these ones. <sighs> she looks so good in there. And then Olivia Woods right there. And then you can see like the little gold accent of her same stuff that we saw with shadow high but this time the hangers are on the accessory panel rather than like just off to the side um and then instead of glitches we have like a whole rainbow gradient um which is i guess their rainbow even though there's not really a yellow or a purple there and this is like eh, i guess it could be flamingo pink but it's reading more red <laughs> whatever um, and then I guess the bottom is, like, bumpy, so that's why it's spinning a lot. Oh, and then there's the barcode if you need it for Olivia, because she is definitely, from what I've seen, I think she's the best from Series 5. I keep wanting to call it 4, but we're already at 5. Um, same junk, everyone is fashion-focused, but one thing is on, like, the bios, we got, um, a little bit about themselves, and they have, like, another, like, side focus, so they're not, like, all just fashion design, and her side focus is film, because she's, like, a costume designer, and I'm, like, yes, and then she's also from Atlanta, Georgia, which, <gasps> I go to school there, so I'm, like, yes, 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 like, she's just, she's everything to me already, like, could she beat Cheryl? No, she can't. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that already. It's, uh, Cheryl's yellow. I love yellow so much. Um, but she could probably be Mila or maybe Lily. Because Lily and Mila are like neck and neck. Then on the back, we have Rainbow High doesn't follow trends. We make them. Watch out, Shadow High. In the world of fashion, we always make the cut. Like, okay, whatever. And then we see Victoria here. And then you can see like right here, it's supposed to like yellow to green and she's not the yellow one um i guess from what for the pairings maybe they went back to her original color which is like sam beige before they switched it to like that 
light pink. Whatever, but yeah, this is supposed to be like a Project Runway theme season for Rainbow High, which is fun. They've always been like high on fashion, so it makes sense to go into that progression. I expected that first before Rainbow Vision, but whatever. Um, so I'm excited to see what other dolls we get from this line. It's been like five minutes and I'm still blabbering on, so let's just get this bitch unboxed. So here we have the artwork in the back of the box. I love it. I started doing this. It's so cute. So there's like the normal artwork and then we have this top one right here. She's looking off to the side like, oh, you calling my name? And then we have the other one where she's just, she has a headache and she's just kind of feeling herself at the same time. Um, but the background of this is like wrinkled up fabric, which like pushes the, um, Project Runway theme even further. So I thought that was interesting to point out. It's Her Majesty herself. She's so pretty. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. She is now my favorite green girl. Um, And like I said, she is totally in my top 10. Like this is right up my alley. So um, let's take a look at what she comes with. So obviously here is the comb. That goes with her stand. That's the color. It's a little lighter than what her coloring is, but it's whatever. And then for the accessories, we have um, a hanger, well, both types of hangers for other clothes. Um, and then we also have a hair dryer. This is the same type of hair dryer that was found with the Rainbow Divas. Same green and monogram pattern. Then we have gold. And if you look right here, there's like a bronze glitter that was applied over it. So I thought that was cool. Cool little detail work. Um, and then we also got, uh, I flung one of them, but I got it. Uh, these little makeup brushes that also came with the Rainbow Divas. Um, I will say I'm sick and tired of these brushes and like the same old, five or six accessories like that already exist like i want to see some new molds if we're going to be getting accessories you know like i don't want um the same blow dryer but in like 10 colors like come on um so here are the brushes in the translucent little dark green right there they can't hold them so they're really just useless um and then we have this makeup palette right here which i think this one came with um if this isn't the one that comes with the house, it's the one that comes with the um, Rainbow Vision uh, little van or whatever. Um, but we can see all the colors that she's using. The mirror is wobbly. And then the palette itself is transparent, dark green, or translucent, dark green. Um, says Rainbow High on the top. Pretty cute. I don't mind the makeup palettes. It's the brushes that I don't really care about. Because the brushes, they can't even hold. So they're just useless. Um, and then... The last thing she comes with are a pair of shades. And these have, like, glitter inside of the lenses. They're pretty cool because these are um, Miss Phaedra's sunglasses, but just recolored. Um, like I said, I would like to see something new if they're going to do accessories like this. So now let's look at Miss Olivia, the queen herself. Um, she's just so pretty. So we have her face, which I'm pretty sure is the Daphne um, face mold. You can never go wrong with Daphne's face. Um, uh, it's so pretty. And then we have this new brown eye color. It's brown with a little bit of green in there. So hazel. Um, so a really beautiful hazel color. And then we have um, these really arched angled eyebrows making her look mean and I love it and then we have like a nude lip over here and then she does have freckles they're very hard to see but she does have freckles and I'm a sucker for freckles um she does have laid edges gorgeous um and then she has like all these different greens in her hair she has like a more true green a lighter green um and then like a dark hunter green so it ends up blending like really really well together it looks really cool um then she has for her makeup a little bit of gold on there because i forgot to talk about the hand um and then this like really muted green that buffs it out really really pretty 
Um, and then we have her earrings, which we have an R right here and an H over here. And for some reason it's like stuck. So I don't know if it's like glued in because I'm pretty sure that's hair gel, not glue. But if it's glued in, that's for me. Um, and then when it comes down to her outfit, this is the most detailed outfit from series five. And I want to see this type of detail with every single character. Like, if you're going to get rid of uh, the second outfit, at least make the first outfit like this, you know? Because, like, Victoria and Kim, their outfits are very meh. Like, I want something with flavor like this. Um, we have real working pocket in the front. Oh, there's another one over here. This is, like, a swirly different shades of green and then the um, monogram uh, rainbow high monogram but with black over it to give it a little camouflage look and i love it and then we have a gold zipper right here goldish bronzish something like that um really really cool and then there's like bungee cord at the bottom of the jacket and then we also got uh like these are like bell sleeves but they're uh bunched up with these little uh fake pleather brown belts at the sleeves the same ones that are on over the top and skirt and then you can see the bungee cord does pull at the back like it doesn't move like it doesn't function but it pulled enough right here to gather it a bit um but yeah and then if you take down the jacket we can see that we have this top right here um, which it looks like she upcycled, like, some pants for both the skirt and the top. Um, and there's, like, this pleather brown belt. Like, it's really nice pleather. Um, then we have an RH buckle up here. Then, like, the olive green right there. Like, olive military type green. And then we have, like, little pockets down here that are beige. Really cute, actually. And then there's darts right here. Uh, yes. And then you can actually remove the top belt and the bottom belt. So they are separate pieces. Super cool. Then the bottom right here, we have this little pocket. They're not really... Are they functioning? They're a little bit functioning, but not really. Then they have extra little ribbons right here. Um, the buckles are painted with like gold studs. And we have like these little marbled buttons. These are the type of buttons that I see on my grandpa's pants. I don't know why, like, that's what I remember, but it's whatever. And then we have, like, the little danglies from the pockets. And then we have fabric boots to go with this. And they match the top, or not the top, the jacket. Uh, same pattern. And then we have, like, the brown buckle that goes through here with the belt loops. And then we have a little, uh, like, yes. And then we have a little stud right here with the black pleather. And then we have a little pocket right here. And this one actually is functional. So she can store her makeup brushes right there, like slay. And then they're supposed to be like, I guess you can, no, you can't really pull them up even further because they're supposed to just sag down like that. And then they're just typical black bottoms. Like she's everything. Like this outfit is so detailed. This is what I want coming, like moving forward with the rest of them. I want new mold as well for series six. Like, come on, do a little more. And then last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try on her sunglasses. Oh my God. Oh, and this hairstyle is super cute with like the two knots right there. That's how I wanted um, Zoe's hair to be, but it wasn't. Um, there are the sunglasses. They're very like commander. She's like, bitch, do what I say. Yes. Oh, I forgot to show the nails. They're the longer nails. I'm pretty sure they're the um, Shadow High Twin mold, um, which is pretty slay. And then no molded on rings or anything. And then they're just in that simple green color. Super cute. Super cute. Really love this bitch. Like, really love this bitch. And then if I accidentally take, like, snag on this, um, I'll just, like, restyle it. I already have plans because I know there's a possibility I might snag the style 
But that is it for Miss Olivia Woods. She is everything. If you love green, if you love olive green, if you love just a really detailed rainbow high doll, this is the bitch to get. She is number one. She should be number one on your list. I know people are gawking over Victoria, but it should be her. Like, she should be your number one. Like, buy her. You will not regret it. So from your reign of supreme, I grant you a wonderful, glorious, fantabulous day. Toodles.